Given theta equals 120 degrees, determine the following. The first question is to determine the reference angle of 120 degrees. To find the reference angle, we will sketch the angle 120 degrees in center position, where the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and then because the angle is positive, we now rotate counterclockwise 120 degrees. So from the positive x-axis to the positive y-axis, we would have 90 degrees, and therefore we need to rotate another 30 degrees to approximately here. So this is the angle 120 degrees in standard position. The reference angle for 120 degrees is going to be this acute angle here between the terminal side of the angle and the negative x-axis. And because half of a rotation counterclockwise is 180 degrees, 180 degrees minus 120 degrees is equal to 60 degrees, which gives us the reference angle. So now we know the reference angle of 120 degrees is 60 degrees. We're also asked to determine which quadrant the terminal side of the angle is in. For a quick review, this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. The terminal side of angle theta is in quadrant two. And now we're asked to find the exact values of sine, cosine, and tangent of 120 degrees. Let's first find these values using a reference triangle, and then we'll also find them using the unit circle. So for the next step, let's sketch the reference triangle for 120 degrees, which would be this triangle here. Notice how we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and therefore we can label these sides one, two, square root three, but because we are in the second quadrant where x is negative, the short leg here is going to be negative one, the hypotenuse is two, and the longer leg is positive square root three, because y is positive in the second quadrant. And now let's find these three trig function values using the reference triangle. The sine of 120 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is square root three divided by two. The cosine of 120 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is negative one over two or negative one half. And the tangent of 120 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is square root three divided by negative one, or just negative square root three. And now let's verify we get the same values using the unit circle. Again, let's sketch the angle 120 degrees in standard position. So here we have the initial side, and the terminal side is here. Notice how the terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point here, where in the unit circle, x is equal to cosine theta, and y is equal to sine theta. So sine 120 degrees is equal to the y coordinate of this point, which is square root three divided by two. Cosine 120 degrees is equal to the x coordinate of negative one half. And the tangent of 120 degrees is equal to y divided by x, which in this case is going to be square root three divided by two divided by negative one half. Instead of dividing by negative one half, let's multiply by the reciprocal. This is equivalent to square root three divided by two times the reciprocal of negative one half, which is negative two over one. And now before multiplying, we can simplify. There's one, two, and two here and here. This simplifies to square root three times negative one, which is negative square root three. So of course we get the same trig function values using the unit circle as we do using a reference triangle. I hope you found this helpful.